We love hip hop. Depending on how to like get the sponsors in a sense now trying to question Drake's like how brand his friendly likeness. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're trying to cut the the snake's head off, dog, without it growing back. You feel what I'm saying? So you're fighting for space. So they studied us to a level of like, it's not Drake who lost anything. It's um, I would say it's Toronto. I would. Mm. I, I kind of agree with you. I feel like Toronto to Americans, Toronto took an L. Be, no, to Toronto, we should know we took the L because what we didn't do was help him fill the space. Mm. We didn't have his back. We, ah, even, ah. YG didn't have his had back. his back. YG definitely had his, YG had his back. YG had his back. I and we're not lie. talking about the West Coast YG for the no, Americans. We're exactly. Like, W-H-Y-G. YG-35. YG-35. Yeah. Uh, YG yeah. Right? But that's what I'm saying. And like, that's where the culture part of it comes involved, where they mm. studied us and been like, ha, he went over there with those guys. That's not the culture for us here. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I don't want to say names when I say those guys. When you No, think but about- even with the production, when you mention it, yeah. like Drake went to Boy Wonder. Um, he went to a few American producers too, mm-hmm. but he didn't even like, there's not a bunch of Canadian producers that he could have just got all his ammunition from. He still had to go to them to get some of his ammo. He had Take Keith doing one of his beats. You know, Take Keith makes hard beats, but he's still right. an American. Right, exactly. He didn't, so we didn't have enough people to have his back. back. And, and then people jumping, you know what I'm saying? And then making videos. Even the littlest guys start making diss records on, on Kenny. He would have been like, my minions are coming for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, didn't, he doesn't have that. And that's what to show you the culture mm. for us is getting beaten up. And we need to strengthen our culture out here. Yeah, we need to it's strengthen. Our, isn't it, like, we have a responsibility. We, we put a lot on Drizzy, you know. Yeah. But he opened the door, fam. Yeah. For even, like, I don't want to say there'll be no We Love Hip Hop without no Drizzy, but at the same time, it's kind of a thing because he's become so popular that Toronto's in the conversation. Mm. So when we do a podcast or Toronto rappers are rapping now, people are like, yo, what's going on? That's, all those guys are from the same place that Drake's from. Yeah, let me but, check it out. Yeah, yeah, and then they want to see the culture. Yeah, what's mm. the culture? Because when I watch Community, shout out to AD, I see their culture mm-hmm. from the way they speak to the way they dress to the to to what the topics they're even speaking about mm-hmm. to letting us know the lingo. You know what I mean? Like most Toronto mans do not speak the way that they've taken that commercial side of of it and then make you know what i mean the joking yeah. side like yeah. yo fam yo crying that that is we we laugh at that mm. that's what they don't know but because they put it into the limelight to assassinate our character out here um, that, crody crody that's how they get us right yeah. so now they'll, they'll downplay our culture to make it look like it's clownery now what they're doing is by assassinating drake's character which it won't hurt him but they're gonna expose it because they're gonna be like what is the culture there? We're not even standing on our own culture as much. Thank you. What is Toronto culture? What is Canadian culture? Like, I think it's being exposed. Hockey. That, hockey, but like, that's not. Canada even, is white. I'm just going to be real with you. So it's Hip-hop classified. in Canada is white. So it's classified more of. It's more of a of Canadian, yeah. Canadian artist yeah. than Drake was and more I, international. Yo, Dusty spitting right now. Yeah. I'm telling you. Holy shit. So Canadian hip hop is white. Yeah. Dusty and really, and right because they, took, they, 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 they studied us, dog. They're assassins. So they studied us. They created this, dog. So they're going to look at us and be like, hold up. These dudes been on top for how long? 12 years? They're, how come? Without Wait a second. Foundation. Have we learned anything from these dudes yet? Hold up. All we know is bef- uh, clownery from them. So they 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 mimic they mimic us and insult our 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 accent, which is not like that at all. Because mm-hmm. you can hear the way me and Friday and you are speaking right now. Yep. There is no way that that is how a Toronto man sound. Like we, we say shit. Yeah, but that's, but we're not like exaggerated like the way that the what the, what they see. They subjected yeah. us to be right. So anything. So what do you do to win a you assassinate a person's character? Mm, yeah, you're right. And then if I push it so much in on you. That this is it. I could then have, I could, and you, and you could be denying it, but everybody now is believing it. Yeah. That this is how y'all are. Yeah. Right. So now homie could sit down right in front of you. Right. Kendrick could sit right now in front of uh, Drake and be like, 
I was there. Whenever, whatever allegation he could have about Canadians or allegation he have about Drake, and he'd be like, yo, I was there. What are you talking about? Because he has said it so much. He has mm. labeled him this. He has labeled mm. him that. that. That got everybody thinking, right? Then you got everybody. Now you got everybody questioning our culture. But okay, how come in this moment, Toronto wasn't united, but when Drake dropped back to back, I felt like we were united. I feel like everyone was riding for Toronto. Everyone was riding for Drake. We were winning. You know what I'm saying? But the moment Drake starts losing, you see like almost like our fabric start to collapse and you see a lot of Toronto people because turning on that, him. Because you just know, you just said it right there. He was on the, up all the way through that battle. The opponent that he was going against was nowhere as formidable as Kendrick Lamar. Okay, so he was just all over me. Like, right. If that was like a fight in real life, it would have been like, okay, come get off of him. Okay, yeah. all right, stop, yeah. stop, yeah. stop. Yeah. He's bleeding already. Okay, yeah. stop, yeah. man. Yeah. You got him. Yeah. <laughs> so like we were like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But our foundation was never there even then. If mm. Meek was a more formidable opponent yeah. and started putting some chinks in man's armor and yeah. really started hurting Drake. Yeah. You would have seen as how quick the shit would have just crumbled from yeah, underneath him, bro. Yeah, but when Pusha T did his whole thing, I don't feel like we turned our back on Drake when it was exposed. It wasn't that he a had clear a loss to me with that one. Nah, mm. yeah, we didn't understand it yet. He we had to back under- out. He remember he had a nuclear bomb he was about to drop, and he had to back out. Yeah. He'd stop himself. So what he did, he Jay went, Prince stopped him. So what he did is he went and bought their jewelry. Yeah, he went and bought Pharrell's jewelry, and yo, uh, quick, fast, okay. Yeah. I did a, a spaces, big salute to Glasses Malone. Yeah. They weren't happy about that, fam. When I was on that spaces, there was a lot of, it was Glasses and a lot of um, LA people. But then there was people from the UK, people from New York, people from all over the place. And that was mentioned a few times because the whole spaces, the, the premise of it was where did Drake go wrong? Yeah. A lot of people mentioned that that wasn't a move that they thought was a cool move. They thought it was disrespectful to their culture. But I feel like the goalpost is moved. I'm there defending. Oh, I'm like fighting for oh, my life. Everybody in moving now. People are moving the whole net because <laughs> at the time when he did it, nobody cared. Everybody was like stunt. Oh, goaded. But now that the that his culture and everything's under question, they're like, nah, we don't like that. America was mad. You weren't mad. Oh, they, you liked it when he did it the first time. They really turned it into a no, America versus Canada. No, thing. no, they, no, they, they uh, turned it into culture. That's they're turning it into a culture Which war. Is really smart. I'm gonna give it to them because that's what they're fighting right now in that country. Hmm. So they can't afford for this lolly in their mind a lollipop ass nigga from Toronto who's not even they claim is not really from the streets, right? So what it is is that. America needs something more strong and more identifying to to black yeah. and Latino culture right now. Yeah. Mm. Right. So the thing is to eliminate by process is to deflate the culture with the person who is not adding to it. You got to expose what he is not adding to it. And what they did is they, they showed Canada is not adding nothing to it. They're what? only taking away. Think about it. He hit him with the you can't go to Atlanta no more because now we I, I hit you. You and you and future got beef. Mm. Right. Boom. They asked him out. Now you can't come to the West Coast. Make Oakland your last stop, nigga. He said like, he's selling his home. Right. You got it. Look, look, million dollars. Look, look down. Now they're exposing that that Toronto don't even mess with him, really. Right. So they're eliminating you within to get you out. But it's our fault, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It is our fault How? because we allowed him to even be famous. Okay. If I'll, you want to say that. No, no, not that. He was undeniable. He, 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 he's supposed to be where he is. Yeah. But the thing is with us as a culture, and I'm talking from a rapper, a hip hop yeah. culture. Yeah. We've never clung to our identity. This is the most that we've clung to our identity over the last, let's say, eight years of us potting. We've just seen people embracing the, the accent, the artist, but, but, all that. But once upon a time, and mm-hmm. Dusty can attest to this, yep. we were on they dick crazy, no diddy. Like East Coast mostly, right? Mo- like, East Coast, yeah, some like crazy. Some men had the West Coast flavor, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, like, but we never did our own thing, bro. Never did our we were own always thing. trying to be like them. From back in the fucking days, my bad. I got to edit dollar. it out anyway. Yo, don't, don't punch me right now. <laughs> but we <laughs> never were acting like ourselves. When yeah. Dipset was the shit, 
We were trying to look like Dipset. Yeah. Okay. Back when 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 boot camp click was the shit, we were trying to look like boot camp click. We were, we were never just trying to look like ourselves, dog. Thank and you. they seen that shit, and they're like, "Look at these little carbon copy wannabe wannabe Cosplays. Americans, cosplay, cosplay mm. play American." Right? <laughs> this Drake us, is bro. stupid talented. So no matter how much he was quote unquote cosplaying, you can't deny his talent. He raps, he sings on such a high level. We got to use him. He could make us so much hits. But the rest of them, they weren't, they weren't jacking us. When Cardinal came through with his original swag, Bacardi they weren't, slang. the Bacardi slang, they weren't jacking it back then, bro. Oh. The only time he bust through was with Dangerous. And who was on Dangerous? Akon. Thank you. American. American, dog. We, right. and, and that was the, as close as we can get, even with the way he was sounding on Dangerous. To just being ourselves, bro. We've never been ourselves. And now it's coming back to bite us in the ass, bro. But you don't agree with what Ebro said about how our sound is rooted in this like alternative emo RMB dark. At dark. dark. Like, like, like maybe a nav, maybe a weekend. It's dark. They it's started dark. that shit. Bro. So wouldn't you say that's the sound that kind of and you were saying off and I say, when I say they, I see the o, I say the, I mean the OBO can and it they still started comes from shit. Houston. Mm. It's still Houston. The slowing down, the underwater the, beats. The, ah, that's Houston, dog. Mm, really? The underwater beats is them, but the slowing down that's is Houston. Houston chop, uh, that underground is still no, no, no. That comes from like uh, that Kid Cudi sound. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, come on, guys. Uh, like, we're not. I can break these guys down. They would hate me if I was in the same room because they know I know. So, is this we're, an opportunity? You know what our sound is? Mm. Our sound would be honestly. It would have to be a mix of. Of like a reggae hip hop. Didn't I just say that off camera, Zar? Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest. Like, I'm gonna not to like go off track. The new record by Black of the Dawn is that's no, you're the, on track. Fam. That's the track. sound mm -hmm. I'm actually looking for. If I was a a guy from the states, I'd be like, oh, yo, he just made me know how they. Oh, go on. that's Toronto shit. Yeah, they just made me know how they talk their lingo, how they move in Toronto. Right, mm -hmm. what they're into, what they're into. Whoa, 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 he's on a staple point. Oh, he's on Eglinton. Drake has never done that, really. Like he's done he's, it, but, but it's not. Resonate. It's not epic to me. It's not as epic because he does a dark <laughs> place is shut down. No one else is there. Man can't even do a random pop up in the video and be like, "Yo, they got it all secluded." You know what I mean? But is it because he didn't want to, or is it because they weren't jacking us like that, fam? Like we tried, like all the stuff that we've been doing before Drake. Nobody was trying to hear in the States, bro. Uh, yeah, they were listening, but you got to understand, it's like only a few could stand out. I had this all like in a different, like on a list, in a chronological list, but we can get into it now. Yo, because yeah. it works. They be like, who am I? 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 Nah, Kiki, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. No, 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 a New York style beat. Then he had the Jersey drums in there. So okay. What? The, the, the no, that's, that's what, but, that's what the no, Americans no, no, would no, no, say. No. They'd be like, that's that's a no, Toronto no, no, beat. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? That's not no, no, no Toronto no. beat. No, no, like no, 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 Because when he put the reggae in the sample in there, yes, it is. Because that's supposed to be our sound. So even if we have to take something and incorporate it, all music is taken from somewhere and incorporated. The, the way they got the beat was sampled some way, somehow before. I don't feel like our sound is reggae only because if you really want to listen to reggae, you're not going to go to Toronto no, to hear reggae. You're no, going to no, go no. to the West Indies. No, you know what I mean? no, but I'm saying the mix of it can be there because a lot of us are Caribbean uh, descent. Fair. Mm. Right? So it's supposed to be there. And that's how it would be honestly like more recognizable for them to be like, okay, that's their sound. But yo, the beat, you, you go to the UK, lie. what do they have? They have jungle. Yeah. Like drum and beat. Garage. They, 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 all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garage. Right? They Garage. Them song, <laughs> right? Now, we, we're, now, what do we do? A Canadian guy will try and do jungle, and he has to go to the UK to bust. Mm. But if you're down here, the kids would, if you form a style from down here, now the kids are supposed to take this style and bite it. I the do. younger generations are supposed to hear this guy right now and to be like, okay, I think that, and then add the, the, the twist, the pato, whatever they got to do to make it sound like us. Do they like that, though? Because I don't when care Cardinal what they like, tried it, it, they didn't like it's, but it. But Cardinal man. is not the guys now. Mm. Cardinal is not who the kids are from Toronto now. Okay, so okay, say what you're going to say. And, and, yeah. and, and, uh, no, all I'm saying is, like, this is a sick song. Yes. I'm not hating on it at all. But if we're going to say, is this the quintessential Toronto sound? To me, the moment I heard the beat, 
This would be it's like a, a New York drill type beat on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Then they have the Jersey drums. Mm. Okay, so we're obviously and I'm those are all... Jersey drums. Those are jungle drums. The ba, 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 those are ba, jungle ba. drums. Go go go. go okay, those are jungle. Even the, okay, jungle drums. They're called yeah. Jersey. This is called Jersey pattern. Maybe it's called yeah, the wrong they thing. They go rename it. But I think that if you really want to like have our sound, we need the beats to be consistently like some type of Toronto theme. You know what I'm saying? Like because mm. I. I rock with this and I feel like kids would rock with this, but like Americans are going to hear this and be like, you guys are jacking us again. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, granted. Granted. Yeah. 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 So, granted. okay. Let's pull this back for a second. What do our rappers sound like? What is the one when you hear like our, some of our favorite, what is besides their accent? Like you obviously, when you hear them start rapping, you're like, okay, that's a Toronto man. That's obvious. If it's but when the beat comes in, how do you know that it's from Toronto? Big salute to the sponsors, Diamond Club, with delivery all over the GTA and now all across Canada. They got the best selection of flour, edibles, and pens and all types of goodies that you need. You can find them on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada, or you can find them on the 7 Days of Weed app as well as the Leafy Things app. Let them know that you heard about them through the We Love Hip Hop Network and they may give you a discount. Big salute to Diamond Club. Cheer! I think there's two there's two ways that I hear it. Either it's kind of like a Roni type sound mm -hmm. where it's like clear bars enunciated. No, you know no, no you already you already got to the raps. When the beat comes in. Oh, the beat, this is, the beat, the beat, the and, beat. Oh. Right? The, come outside. Let's, let's came, come outside is a yeah, good example. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That kind of like melodic R&B dark. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? You know what? Let me run come outside. Let me see how. If that, if your example, um, what do you think? I don't know, bro, because I feel like you guys are more like OG in the music game. So like, you guys have seen Toronto go through its phases. So like, right, what was these, the Toronto? A lot sound? Of these guys weren't around to hear like the theme song for City Pulse back in the day. No one's taken that and flipped it. I'll give you guys an idea right there. But even for us back in the days, I I, I don't know if I could speak for both of us, but yeah. Bacardi slang or not Bacardi slang, um, old time killing, killing. Mm -hmm. That was like definitely a Toronto Tron sound. Bum, 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 bum. And it had reggae oh, me, in it. Oh, me, and oh, it had a reggae eye. feel. You know what? Let me run that first. That's an that, amazing song. Okay, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. They didn't take it and, 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 and mold it better because kids weren't... Maybe some of their parents didn't even listen to hip hop. Half of these producers that are producing now. You get what I'm saying? And then there's roots to this. Even this. Culture. Even this. Even that. Even Trust that right me. there. Even that right that's there. That's our you guys, used to do that? you guys used to do that's that? The no, but that 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 a reggae horn or like a Thank you. drop type yeah. of thing. Hearing the jams. Yes. In the dance hall, you're the, hearing this. All right. You go to after hours and the electric after hours. and the boom. Thank that's you. like that's right from a so directly weird. from a sound man's soundboard. Cardinal has not said a word yet. Thank you. And we're this already is moving. Toronto. It feels like Toronto already. I can't yes. Lie. Yeah. You understand the way the beat is moving? It's kind of dance hallish, but it's hip hop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yo. You can kind of do a skank to it. Trust me. You know what I mean? And see, that's where that's where the culture comes involved from us. A man like Drake was supposed to be like, "Yo, go get that beat right now. And we're gonna go flip it." Mm. He should. Boy, I wanna should have took this and flip it. Made it something for us to write to and remember. Mm. That's why they're beating us because they ain't they didn't take back the culture and flip it on their asses. And Cardinal, with all the success he's had, he didn't really get to break through the American market with this material. Damn. Like this is us. We love this. this it got 2.5 million views or 2.9, but like the only time they really like paused, they keep penetrated their 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 mind is when dangerous dropped. Mm -hmm. Which was way more just like an American. It still had the Pop, flavor to mainstream. it. Mainstream. Like it had yeah, a little, yeah. you know, reggae yeah. flavor, like yeah. a, you can play it at a, at a resort type of thing. You know what like I'm he's talking the slang a little bit in there. You know what he's I mean? He's talking a lot, but right. like it's not driven by him. It's driven by that hook with, with friggin' Akon on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Like when, when Cardinal Official came out, right? Because mm -hmm. how I'm seeing it now is like, okay, if you have. West Indian background, if you're Jamaican or you're from the islands, you're going to rock with this. Yes. But if you're like a white kid from the suburbs, maybe this style is not as familiar with you, for you. Mm. So like maybe that's why I didn't go past but, but, like but, to that Drake but, level. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like universal because like this, it seems like maybe? a very like you got to be in the culture. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. That's why I said a lot of these, good a, lot of, a lot of the people that are making rap music now, probably a lot of their parents never liked it. 
No, but as a, as a listener, though, mm. yeah, as a listener, the way Drake has been able to get past the the the, the Toronto zone, mm -hmm. it's because he's not doing something that only if you're that you can relate to. Yeah, you but that's the saying? whole point. Is the whole point in hip hop is for you to come to the culture, to come to see what we have to offer you. That's why they have different coasts yeah. of rap in America. And I went and listened to all the coasts. Right, because I, I had an interest for every coast, how they how they dress, how they talk, what's the lingo, what cars they drive, what's what's up. Mm -hmm. Right, so no, you have to drive it in them, tell them this is how we are. Right, so you're saying that Drake should have had more slaps like this, and also in defense of Drake when he does go reggae because he's been from the um, find your love is on yeah. the first album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but then they start calling him um, Drizzy Marley. Yeah, they're not saying he's doing Toronto culture; they're saying he's appropriating Jamaican, Jamaican culture. culture. Exactly. He, it's like he can't win, fam. Can't win. Because it's he's doing a, what a Toronto man would do, lean into a reggae tune. But when he does it, they're like, oh, why are you appropriating? It's not fair, but, fam. But, but it's not. But that, that's where you can't care because you got to be like, nah, this is where we're from and this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. And then they'll have to understand because it's forced down their throat just the same way they forced him down everybody's throat. Like, mm -hmm. like imagine... His first album was more find your love driven than the other styles of beats that were his on there. No, his people would have been like, "Who's this Jamaican wannabe?" Yeah, but he could touch. He was touching everything, right? Yeah, he was being versatile. But like, if half of the album was really like you know more dancehall, Toronto, whatever driven, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you think they would have received him as well, dog? Like, it took him some time to kind of like, with all due respect chameleon his way through their different styles the, before they accepted him before he started giving us the slang because they wouldn't yeah, they wouldn't accept him from the beginning I, I get you but that's off <laughs> of him being molded to be told like just be you mm. right and that's where they get him now and saying you weren't being you because when you really hear him speak on a natural he does sound like the man them. yeah mm -hmm. all right so when you're taking slang or style from another place like San Francisco, Oakland, and the Bay Area and, and other places. Oh, they were mad about exactly. that. Exactly. They're places. like, that's not you, homie. Oh, uh, little Wayne told you to be you. Be, be, be you. But yo, Toronto is, I feel like it's defined by us adopting other cultures. You're wrong. It's not. Because, yo, you don't think we adopted New York slang at all? Of course. We all used to ride. We just, we just saying, that's, that. that's what I'm saying. That's part of the problem. That's part but of the problem. But it's almost part of the culture. Maybe the problem is part of the culture where it's like we we have accept, we accept too many things at once that we don't have a defined set of things. You know what I'm yes. saying? It's like we borrow a little bit of here. A little bit, it's exactly. very Canadian. You too know much what I'm blood clot borrow. Too much borrowing. Too much bigger, bigger family. And and listen again for if Drizzy or any of the teams watching, we're not putting this on Drizzy. No, this is on Toronto. Toronto, yeah. You know what I'm Drizzy saying? We news. never identified ourselves, so how yeah. would we expect Drizzy to identify himself? Yeah, yeah. right. <sighs> Trust me. Trust me. Just, and then when you had kids like Smoke Dog who were like identifying to how to, you know, like they got they got rid of him. So like, God damn it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really hard to. The most Toronto mans of Toronto mans when they started really busting through. Like how the scene is now, we're all complaining about how it wasn't as buzzing as in 2018, 2017. Yeah. That was the, some of the most Toronto shit yeah. that was dropping around dropping. that time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And that was how we were about to go. And you would un that's why they were clicking in and being like, yo, these guys are them. They right? were we were on fire right? at that time, bro. Some 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 parts of uh the GTA certain man speak fast. So when you're hearing mm -hmm. some of the raps, the raps sound fast. You know what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. mans have that slow slur to them in the city right and you hear some of their raps and it's that slow slur like the smiley and everybody you know what mm. i'm saying so it, there's many pockets where like people are different yep. that doesn't did and it's toronto right when you hear this come in you know that's toronto shit yeah fam you know what i mean yeah and then instead homie goes and jumps on some little american dude thing but not come and jump on the you thing. Yeah, but no. we also know why that's happened over yeah, the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As over your lawyer back still. in the building. Yes. Yeah, okay. I get what you're saying. Because when he jumps on one guy's thing, yeah. they try to they try to kill him. And then he jumps on the next man thing, they try <laughs> to kill, kill him, him too. too. Like fam, him. like Flip our city's Wilson. too bad mind for him to get and, and give the alley oops properly. Because when he does, everybody wants to go and kill that person he gave the alley oop to. I know it's crazy. Uh, I, I can't lie. Now that I'm aware that Americans think this. I feel a little embarrassed. Mm. 
Thank you. I feel a little embarrassed because we're spending all this time going on Detroit beats, going on LA beats, Thank going you. on Atlanta beats, beats, trying to sound like these guys. The whole time, these guys are looking at us like, look at these clowns. Look at these like, cosplay. Clowns. cosplay. Yeah, like, bro, we have to find our own sound, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, that should need, be priority. We need to take our, our, it goes to our producers first. Our producers got to find a sound that we could bop to and skank to. Preach. And, you get what I'm saying? I don't care if you're white, Indian, purple, green. Find it. A defined sound. This is what we sound like. Borrow from our old music here. Before you, and before you even hear a word of the rapper, this is what we sound like. Thank you. Borrow something from the past from here. Don't take from over there. Borrow from that's from here. And I bet you you'll get further. Something that we could all remember. You know who's Canadian as, 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 as uh, I'll, I'll fuck. Canadian as who? Mm. Maestro. Maestro is, 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 the, is the prime minister. When you hear these <laughs> eyes, when you hear that. You're like, oh, shit. Canadian. <laughs> Waste you. That's, you know a big, I mean? that's a big tune, too. <laughs> right? Like, mm. he, he, records. Like, um, Backbone Slide. Like, come on, bro. Backbone Slide. Um, who else? You know, another Canadian, a really Canadian song that came out in that time. It was around the come outside time. Um, Canada Goose? No. no. Canada Goose. That's pretty Toronto. That, you hear that and it's like, yeah, that's Toronto's in the building. Mm-hmm. Like before the beat comes in. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I mean, before Pressa comes in. Even though Pressa jumps in on the top nah, of the nah, nap, nah, nah, right? Yeah. If Pressa didn't do that and then he started rapping later, when you hear that beat, you're like, okay, yeah. Toronto's in the building. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't know what they did with that and those sounds. To make it where it's like maybe it's them themselves that made it more like we know that's Toronto. Because yeah, at that, at that point it's the artist, right? Yeah. Now this is what I'm saying. It's a bop mm. we need to have, right? And when we find the bop, the rappers can always bop too. You yeah, know what I'm like an easy like default beat. We could do everything mm. else then, right? but then when we need to default to, to Toronto sound, boom, you to jump on this style beat. Yeah, for jump on the style. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because that's how that's because you see how Detroit they all have that style. Yeah, they got the beats. They probably go to one man or two man for those. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the rest of the rat, that whole area, a couple other ones are more lyrical. They get different with it. You know what I'm saying? They sound like more East Coast. No, no, but, but Dusty, not only that, mm. not the one or two mans. Those one or two mans popularized that style of beat. Yeah. And then all the producers in their area started copying they that gotta style. Got to copy. Beat. They have to because that's what the artist wants to hear. If you're yeah. a producer, and you're trying to sell beats. Oh, I want a beat like this. Yeah, there's okay. a bunch of Detroit style maker yeah. beat makers all of a right sudden there. because those two men that started busting off the Detroit style beats. Thank you. Right, with mustard and those guys in the West Coast, <sighs> or even the G Funk era. Like, yeah, a bunch of G Funk producers came out came and out. started making the same style Snoop Dogg style beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, yeah. or not a Snoop Dogg. It wasn't. Warren it was G. Snoop Dogg and those guys Warren that G. were on it. Warren, but Warren it was. G. The beats were called G Funk beats. Yeah, you know but what I'm saying. Warren G is like one of the main. Yes, and uh, Daz. Yeah, but like it was, you hear that? Mm-hmm. You're like the yeah. West Coast is in the building. Thank you. <sighs> right, right. Like we don't have a. You hear that? Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what the sound is gonna be, but when you hear that little thing, the first few seconds, and oh, they're about to run a Toronto medley. Thank you. What do y'all think of? That the sad boy type of vibe that's for but, Toronto, okay. maybe for women, maybe. Yeah, but she's showing her her um island vibe because that's more Brazilian uh funk, ballet funk. Yeah, right. So she gonna have to touch that because she would sound crazy if she on all these little trap beats and but she can do it too, mm-hmm. 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 right? Shout yeah. out to Sad Boy, I see yeah. she doing her thing, right? Killing it, right? Damn thing, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a fan, fan, super fan, mm-hmm. not like that, but no stand. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But. Yo, she doing her thing. Yeah. But I have I have great ties to the Brazilian community through Neto, chill, chill. You know it's what I'm saying? Chill. Yeah. Toronto, right? Yeah, yeah. So when he's hearing her, he's like, yo, this is crazy. This gotta go. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's now a style that they can relate to somewhere else. But yeah. she did have to take something from somewhere from else. From Brazil. Else. <laughs> but, but she went to Brazil. Which I go to those ballet funk parties all the time, dog, mm. and they're 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 better than a reggae party. I'll just tell you mm. that. You know what I mean? They get they just dance all night, like and the women are very nice and everybody is very friendly. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. it's a different fi- kind of vibe that she went to, and she's a lady from Toronto, which is gonna make her explode. 
You know what I'm saying? Because she's tapping into South American sounds. Um, we love hip hop.